Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Palace of Ice with me, Bring It On. Let's knock out a few buffs before we proceed. Let's go with five. I'm not sure what part just failed. I'm over here to intercept the abomination. Looks like all the light sources that can be lit are already lit. We'll cast daylight on our next turn. Great. My paladin's lethargic. So close. Hey, Guardian Spirit's up. We kill him next turn without actually having to attack him. And once these are you supposed to take the barriers who's taken care of, should be fairly easy. So all the actual soldiers are fairly weak, except for maybe the general. Stop doing that. 
That'd be great. So we still have Holy War up. Should have heard that out. So it doesn't require concentration. I know it's getting a little roughed up. Pretty great. A big spike. You have them now. Wow, missed. So many enemies down here. I wasn't expecting this. I thought we were going to be able to sneak into the castle from below. Anybody? Oh no, we're blinded. I wonder if a uh, volley can. No, it can't. I'll just have my cleric kill him on his next turn. What's up, buddy? 
Oh, you're trying to run away. And I'm not gonna let that happen. Oh, we can teleport. Blinded too. Well, that's annoying. the next one. Oh. Got that guy turned invisible. Just hanging out over there. <laughs> Let's take care of the general first. eventually get to the mage. Worth a shot. Let's go get him. Almost done. Only three enemies left. Only one enemy left. <laughs> Blade barrier. Glad I countered that. Natura Evo Malmis. No. Arcana Evo Malmis. 
Not sure what my paladin's gonna do when he gets over here, but at least he'll be over there. Well struck. I'm probably gonna take a short rest. I'm thinking about it. Just looting all the bodies before we check out the stone. Ooh, a superb great axe. And splendid plate armor. And a shield plus two. Exciting. Dragon plate armor. I may have clicked on the mace by accident. Imperator. Alright, what do we got? Right, so this sets your strength to 21. Oh, it does force damage. And Doom Blade Cut. Does a uh, 1d6 necrotic damage at the beginning of the enemy's turn. Okay. Well, I'll probably swap to using... Well, shoot. I'll lose my charisma then. So I could swap out... Well, no. I don't want to do that either. Man, I want to use the axe. But this gives me 25 strength. And since this would be... Yeah, I'd lose plus two... Uh, my modifier if I got rid of this belt in exchange for this. If I only gain plus two the plus one to that, because I'd swap Anvil with my Warden Blade and have the Imperator in my primary. So it'd be a neutral gain. I wouldn't get anything. Uh, Dragon Plate Armor, on the other hand. 
Plus eight armor class, resistance to fire, acid, slashing, and poison. That's fantastic. Does require attunement though. I think it's a no-brainer. Uh, we'll probably swap out uh, Ring of the Lord Inquisitor for the armor. Uh, Dispel Magic is probably better. But yeah, I think we'll give this to our cleric. The extra armor class. In fact, let's go ahead and knock out all this stuff real quick. Oh, Magnificent Shortbow as well. Don't mind if I do. plus three plus one I lose the 1d10 shock damage or a guaranteed three damage and better chance to hit tough call Oh, it's also a longbow. It's 1d8 instead of 1d6. That's too much damage drop off. We'll just sell that. Right, let's go check out this stone. And another one. No surprise there. You think they're here for us? Or rather, for each clan in the Pact of the Claw, doesn't make any sense. Masterful. I'm impressed. I've never seen such a display of power. You're trying to make us blush, General. Apologies. I'm rarely humbled by anyone. I didn't foresee that we'd gain the upper hand on the front line after just a few days. Thanks to you, that is now a reality. We care about peace in the Eastern Kingdoms, but you know why we're here. I haven't forgotten. And yes, now I'll have the time to come and vote at the Parliament. I'll consider your opinions carefully when it's time to cast my vote. Thank you. Stay in the light, my friends. Elevan on the march.
My brother, I hope this letter will find you both well and whole. It is with great distress that I read of the goings-on at court. Perhaps desperate times call for desperate measures. I too feel it is only a matter of time before the horns of war are blown to the borders here in the north. Although I have had no... I have at no point found any solid evidence of the Snow Alliance seeking to make incursions on our land, on our own land's borders. I have seen military activity on the Snow Alliance side. This activity suggests that maybe the Snow Alliance is preparing for a war. We must remember that dwarves and elves are creatures unlike humans, creatures that we cannot fully trust. They see this world and humans differently. Living as long as they do makes them unable to understand who we are or why we do what we do. This may be why the king acts as he does. Perhaps he is in possession of secret knowledge we cannot fathom. Perhaps the Sorax have infiltrated the Snow Alliance. Whatever the truth, I have sworn an eternal oath of duty to the kingdom of Galavan, and as such, and to its true and rightful king. I am already commanded with raising troops, equipment, and supplies for actions to repel Snow Alliance aggression. Such actions worry me, but I cannot shirk my duty. We march for the borders and commence construction of watchtowers and fortifications at the soonest instance. Your true and loyal brother, F. The venerable pile of Glendale Castle bears the scars of centuries of conflict and war. Now on the axis of the dispute between the Snow Alliance and Galavan, the strategic value has brought it to ruin. Well, I think that's the whole map explored. A lot of great rewards. Unfortunately, you can only attune the three items, which feels so limiting in this situation. So I'm actually compare the armor class, so 26. Yeah, so I gained one armor class and all those resistances. Which is a little crazy, it's basically turning my paladin into a path of stone barbarian. It's the city yet. There it is. Hey, we got some boots. Uh, when I get back to White Rock City. I'm going to see about crafting that Mall of Perfection.
Or maybe a plus three one-handed weapon for my cleric. Maybe a Warhammer of Perfection? In fact, what is this right here? Plus one. Plus two. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Dragon Knight. A lot of dragons. Of course, we were surprised. Well, if we survive the first turn, we'll be okay. Breath attack should wake everybody up. So many dragons. <laughs> Feindall may not survive. A lot of breath attacks coming his way. Yeah, one more hit. Down he goes. Oh, never mind, he's going for melee. Awesome. He's not, though. Oh, he's got seven health left. Here comes the knight. Okay. What to do, what to do. I need to get damage out. Manic spray might be worth it, too. In there, guys. Yeah, You're still in the fight, my friend. That was bound to happen. I figured we could do one random encounter before I wrap up the episode. I wasn't expecting them to throw a horde of dragons at me. Oh, wrong weapon. On here. One foe down. Thirty one radiant damage. Guardian Spirits is a silly spell. Good try it, loser. Natura Evo Alvis. Like that. All right, it dies to Guardian Spirits on its next turn. A 
now. Evil Malmi. Good kill. What's up, buddy? Okay. Good try, man. Alright, let's see my paladin to fix him up. You'll die like the rest. Fain doll is in bad shape. Oh, we still have ten. Ten turns to get him back up, so. Start with the fight first, then we can just cast Revivify after the fact. What a doozy. Of course, that was the first fight where we were caught off guard and surprised at the outset. And not the other way around. Alright, I'm going to call it here. Uh, next time we'll rest up and continue our journey back to White Rock City. And go from there. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.